the first question is find point on the curve at which the tangent is parallel to the x axis okay the curve is y equals to x cube minus 3x now since the curve tangent is parallel to the x axis what does it imply it implies that the slope of the tangent is zero that means tan theta or dy by dx at that particular point p is zero now let p be x1 comma y1 okay let's find dy by dx at p and then let's equate it to zero dy by dx is 3x square minus 3 this is equal to zero that means what x is equal to plus minus 1 now when x is x1 is 1 x1 y1 is minus 2 when x1 is minus 1 y1 is 2 so these are the points at which if you draw a tangent the tangent will be parallel to the x-axis okay next problem next question is find point on the curve y equals to x cube minus 2x square minus x at which the tangent is parallel to y equals to 3x minus 2. So this is the question, here you have to find point on the curve where y is equal to x cube minus 2x square minus x at which the tangent is parallel to y equal to 3x minus 2. Now given that you have a question before you, I request you to pause the video, try the question on your own and once you have done the problem, try to see the solution. Okay, so go ahead, pause the video. Okay, so assuming that you have solved the question, now let's see how the solution of the question is. It's given that the tangent is parallel to y equals to 3x minus 2. You know that if you have two straight lines, which are parallel to each other, that means what? Both of them have same slope. If this straight line y equals to 3x minus 2 has a slope of 3, that means what? The tangent also has a slope of 3. So the slope of the tangent or dy by dx at the point p on the curve is 3. Fine, let's find dy by dx. dy by dx is given by 3x square minus 4x minus 1. Let the point p be x1 comma y1. That means what 3x1 square minus 4x1 minus 1 is equal to 3 because dy by dx at p is equal to 3. Now this is a simple quadratic equation. You can factorize this equation and you'll get x1 minus 2 into 3x1 plus 2 is equal to 0. So x1 is equal to 2 or x1 is equal to minus 2 by 3. If you put x1 equal to 2 here, you'll get y1 as, put it, 8 minus 8 minus 2. Minus 2. Similarly, if you put x1 equal to minus 2 by 3, you will get y1 as minus 14 by 27. So these are the two points on the curve at which the tangent is parallel to y equals to 3x minus 2. Next question. Next question will be to find the equation of tangent and normal. The 
the question is find equation of tangent and normal to the parabola y equals to 4x at the point 80 square comma 280. So the trick is simple to find the equation of tangent and normal you first need to find out the slope of tangent and normal once you are done with finding the slope equation is very simple. Okay. Slope of tangent is dy by dx at that point. The point is 80 square comma 280. Differentiate both sides with respect to y. You will get 2y dy by dx is 4a. That means dy by dx is 2a by y. So 2a by y is 280. So 280 that means dy by dx at that point is 1 by t. So the equation of the tangent is y minus 280 because you know the equation of tangent is y minus y1 m x minus x1 so m is 1 by t here x minus 80 square which gives y t minus 280 square you get xt minus 80 square so final is xt sorry x plus 80 square so this is the equation of the tangent similarly to find the equation of normal what you need to do is y minus 280 slope of the normal will be minus of 1 by slope of tangent so minus t x minus 80 square so this is the slope of the this is tangents equation this is normal's equation okay okay now this some trick which I wanted to tell you so I'll discuss that now let's say you have some standard curve you have the equation of the standard curve which is given by x square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c. This is called the standard curve because you can derive equation of standard equation of any geometrical figure two dimensional like uh, conic section like parabola, hyperbola, ellipse, circle from this equation. So if you have the standard curve and you are asked to find the equation of tangent at any point on the curve, the trick is very simple. You need not find go um, find the slope and all. What you need to do is replace x square with x x1, where x1 and y1 are the abscissa and ordinate of the point P. Replace y square with y y1. Replace x y with x y1 plus y x1 by 2. Replace 2 x with x plus x1. Replace 2 y with y plus y1. Once you have done that, you will get the equation of the tangent at that point. For example, let's take the last problem. The last problem was to find the equation of the tangent to the parabola y square equal to 4x at the point 80 square comma 280. So y square should be replaced by y y1. y1 is 280. So 280 4a x x should be replaced by x plus x1 by 2 x plus 80 square by 2. So that gives me 
y t is equal to x plus a t square. So the answer is same whether you proceed by this method or you proceed by the last method. This is obviously a simple method.